Anniversary 2, today's project, how to make your own sanding blocks. Stand by, I'll show you how. This one, we're going to cut this off. We're going to trim it here to mark it better. Trim it this way. And curve it up this way. And uh, I'm going to take and put, see if I can measure my fingers in here. I'm going to put a kind of a groove where my fingers are, so my fingers will slide in there. Just kind of color that in. Put a, my thumb comes here. Kind of make that, take the grinder, kind of dig some of that out. Reverse two making um, sanding blocks here. Going to take and measure. That's some two by fours. Um, let's see. We don't need all of this. So we'll cut about an inch off of here. get it done a little more quicker. Going to take our grinding wheel and try to smooth the edges. We have our small um, wood block cut out here. So we're going to take and cut a slant here. It's going to hold our sandpaper just by slanting this. Okay, that's good enough. Just want to be able to slant my paper, stick it in there, be able to fold it, and that's going to hold it in place. Anniversary 2, making the um, sanding blocks from scratch here. Moving right along. Got our sandpaper cut out, got our block lined up here. We're taking fold our sandpaper into this the slant. Just take and bend it in. Slide into the groove, pull it forward, and see how tight that is. You can, you can adjust it. Get nice and tight. And take the other end, just pull it tight. Put it take and hold it there and cut them off. Pull on the sun. Take and bend it here. Slide it down in your groove. Yeah, if you've got some that's going to hang and cut a little more off until it's tighter. Then um, once you get this the length, you won't waste any. Just take and cut the rest of the pieces to the size you need and you won't be wasting any. But right now we're just trying to get it adjusted and take it from there. Let's slide it down in there. You can go this route here. Um, you can just apply pressure with your hand to keep it from moving from that, from that point on. And there you have you a uh, sandy block here. The sandpaper's not going to move around on you. Now this piece here um, is my uh, custom uh, sanding block. I got curves here on the corner and I cut out a little slant here on both ends. So 
of my, um, I can move it uh, through the easy way. Change my finger position here. It feels pretty good. I'm able to wrap my three fingers here, my thumb there that was cut out on purpose. With a custom sanded block. And I'm, this one, we're going to do something different. <coughs> I'm going to add a spring to it. I'm going to put the spring on it. It's going to hold down the paper. I'm going to take and put the spring there. We're going to take and staple um, this end here down with some staples. Okay, on this one we're going to do a little differently. Um, I'm going to take and put some springs on here. You can get these springs real, treat, uh, real cheap off some little, uh, I have some leftover critter traps here. It's got a spring on the back. You can get these uh, maybe three or four in a bag real cheap. I'm going to put some staples in here. Sandpaper cut out. I'm going to take and fold it and lift and place our paper here. Put it back down. Let's pick up the other end. Just fold it across. You don't have to cut this if you don't want to just bend it over and hold it in place. So there I have my other. Um, standing back there, your rubber, or some more rubber, and um, to make your hands more comfortable on top, add the rubber to the top to make it a little bit more comfortable while sanding. And there you go, the brush to make your own sanding blocks here, using some springs here from the Toretto traps, and uh, taking your blocks and kind of grinding them down to where they're comfortable in your hand. And there you go, the rest of tool, making your own sandy blocks. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe.